Hello and welcome to Dead Ops Arcade Inside the DOA Cafe Episode 4. Today I'm joined by a couple of guests that you may know from Dead Ops Arcade 2. Havoc and Zombie Prophecy. Now I think the first thing I should ask, just so the viewers are on the same page as ourselves, what exactly is the DOA Cafe? DOA Cafe is just like a little club of people that do their thing on Dead Ops with each other. Dude, DOA Cafe is dead. DOA Cafe, where, uh, where dreams go to die. Talk to me a little bit about the differences between Xbox and PlayStation players and sort of their mentality and approach to the game. Dude, I see it all the time. It's like, Xbox players suck. It's like, oh, well, at least your game's not broken by the third day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You still guys, this <laughs> like by the fucking third day, there's not like the major console lag that plagues you and fucks you over. Huh, yes, it, it certainly plagues the game just like the DOA calf. Like I think I think on PS4 everybody has a role. They have to be playing for good scores, but on Xbox it's just completely different, man. There's a carrier and there's the rest, there's everybody else. That's what it is. And it's on not Xbox, because of it's... skill, it's because the game is fucking broken and if everybody tries to run around it's gonna be fucking cancer, so you can try, but it's like fucking way more than anybody wants to try. Like it's just fucking fucked up, so no, no. And we don't boost as bad it's, as people it's... say either. Like we play the whole fucking game basically, except for when it hits like 3.0. Some players, there's mostly all players, but there's like you know the select few that are really good and they can still play like 3.0. They can all play basically the whole way through that. Me. And most, mostly, can, yeah, you. mostly, yeah, mostly any, anybody can except for maybe 3.0 Woods and people and Chinatown, obviously, and fucking Box of Three. Well, I guess if you count Woods, but. Yeah, those are it depends. three that you really can't. Yeah, it depends, because Woods you can do two-player, I know that for a fact, but many people have done that, but three-player and up, that shit's fucking intense, man. Like, it gets worse. No, there's not enough space. There's just it's, not enough space. Yeah, it gets a lot worse, so... And then 4.0 rolls literally... around, and you're dealing with horrible lag, and you have a full squad, it's like, nah, dude. Y'all need to go fucking die, so I can play this game. Like, you can play beach, you, don't need to die you can so play docks, but after that it's just me, like, I'm playing for the rest of the fucking game. And you can pick it up on EVAC, and maybe fucking Red Sea if you want to play around for a bit. So what's the root of the problem here? Is it the players not being experienced and being lazy? Is it the map design that makes it difficult for multiple players to work together? What exactly is it? It's the lag, it's not even like it's everybody's fault. Me and, me and of Desmond were able to stay up. Me and of Desmond were able to stay up on 4.0. Oh yes, shout out to Abdesmond... Ab I said that I would shout him out in my next video, so here it is. Carry on, gentlemen. I mean, I guess it's not impossible, but... Now I wanted to ask, when do you think it is reasonable to boost? When is it okay to boost? Like, when is it reasonable to boost? Yes, that's what I asked. Proceed. All of 4.0. Like, how are you gonna um, say three? Okay, how are you gonna say 3.0 woods is acceptable to go through, and then say 4.0 woods isn't acceptable? Hmm. The same way you could get through Coliseum first and second time around, but not third and fourth. But maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, by the way, before I forget, would you be interested in playing a DOA one game with myself? DOA one, dude, that'd be fun as fuck. But like, I'm shit. So. <laughs> Oh, okay, understood. It just, I don't know, like, I give you big props, bro, for, like, actually being really good I mean, at that shit, because I was, I was that watching way harder than Frenzy's Stream. Through. I was mm -hmm. watching Frenzy's Stream, and the way I saw he was playing, he was keeping his distance from the zombies, dude. Yes, typically you don't want to be right next to the enemy. The mechanics are really fucked up, the way they move is fucked up, they just, they just don't work the same way, not even close as, like, you would do. What is your opinion on the invisible monkey on DOA 1? That's invisible one monkey of the many kill. reasons DOA 1 is shit as fuck, bro. <laughs> so broken, and they don't give a fucking rat's ass about it. Like, there's so <laughs> many things they could have fixed and changed that made the game it's, fucking It's so hit, broken. But they were like, nah, dude, let's fuck that shit. Like, it's so broken that I actually like shitty. it that it's like, so fucking broken. I like it because it's, it's broken like... too. It's only because I've seen people flourish on it. If nobody flourished on it, if it was, everybody was like an 80 player and that's what it was, I wouldn't care, dude. I wouldn't get into it at all. But to know that there's people that are getting 160 like constantly and they're able to do it, that's fucking hilarious, man. Because that just shows it's actually a playable game, even if it is complete broken bullshit. Sure, it's not as polished as DOA 2 was, but it is what it is, right? So what are some of the things about DOA 1 that you really dislike? 
playing solo, getting eaten up by dogs, even though you fucking really should not have taken a hit. Or getting hit from crazy long distances. <laughs> it's just so unbelievable, man. It's so unbelievable. It's amazing, I love it. <laughs> it's crazy, like, it's, like, it's crazy as fuck. You think, you think you're good, but you're not. Yeah, you put you on your toes at all times. And it's I feel like, like all high like round, about everybody it, knows, like, that all those high round players know. They know the game is broken as fuck. They get those high rounds, they play it, they understand, but, like, they don't bitch about it the way we do because we get raped by it more. We're not as good at fucking dealing with it. But when they die by it, they're yeah. like, yeah, that's just the game. But it's fucking broken as fuck. Like, let it be known. It's broken as fuck. When can we expect the Havoc Zombie Prophecy iconic duo to play a Dead Ops Arcade 1 co-op game? Do you really want to shit? Like, why the fuck would I want to play a two-player? No, dude. Fuck that noise. I really just don't like it that much. I really don't like it that much. What is your opinion on the QP Derek Rambo podcast? I heard about it a uh, little QP bit, Derek and Rambo. but I can't imagine what they would have said because I don't really play it that much. So, like, I've only they're just, just talking about how you should drop lies and shit like that. How you shouldn't drop lies? I don't like. Oh no! How you should? Oh, how you should? Drop lives. Weird. I thought they were against that kind of thing. When can we expect you to get the world record on Dead Ops or K2 Cyber's Vengeing? Like I said, I'd rather spend my time playing DOA 2 right now. Get everybody on board and stop fucking around on DOA 1. Just fucking play the... Let's play the real game. Let's play the fucking legit one that actually works 100% of the way. Uh, are we talking about the same game? What do you think would be the most impressive thing to do on DOA 1 that is yet to be accomplished? DOA 1's beaten, dude. It's a beaten bitch. Like, everybody's played the fuck out of it. That's those high round players. They've all played the fuck out of it. Are you labeling and fucking DOA 1 a beaten bitch? It's a beaten bitch, bro. Bro, it's fucking... She's ancient as fuck, DOA 2. It's a washed hoe. DOA 2 is a washed hoe. And it's so lame, because like all those high round players that play DOA 1, they don't come over to DOA 2 and like... No, they don't. ...perform. No, they like, do they don't have any shit on here. Are we gonna ignore all the records that DOA 1 players got in the first year of the game when it was at its peak? Yeah, bro, that was back in the day, too, like... Not a lot of people even played back then that were good. You were one of the only people that played that were good under the conditions of the game when it first came out because it was a complete different game. So much more. It was just completely different in a lot of different ways. Yeah, no. It had its old brokenness, man. but. It had its old brokenness. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, the game was fucking uh, broken as shit when it came out. Rambo That's launch ever. And yeah, dude, you're right. I think Rambo is on top for like everything for a long time, and now he's nowhere. Nowhere to be seen. Yep, then the reset happened. And um, I'm over here, hello! Yoo-hoo! He must have been really upset when his rank 1 got wiped clean after the leaderboard reset. Oh, what? He... He advocated for the reset? Oh, okay. Then I'd love to, to, to see over. him, I'd love to see him and you guys and everybody just on top, like, actually where they could or should be. Because you guys should be there, but at the same time, it's a fucking different game. Like, you guys played a completely different game from us. This... This one's easier, it's more reliable, so you shouldn't have a problem, but... What? If it's easier, then what's the issue, sir? Well, in the beginning of DOA 2, there's not too many new generation people, like me and you, around. Because you said you didn't get into DOA 2 until, like, the Rising Draka came out? Yeah, I was into there. it from the jump, but I just sucked dick. But I just sucked dick. But I just sucked dick. So it took me a while to get good. Yeah, dude. Why are you guys hating on Rambo? I mean, he's a bit of an asshole, but in overall, he's a decent fella. Yeah, he Wasn't doesn't he seem interested. He literally doesn't seem interested. But he makes videos and shit and like fucking. No, all he sorts literally shit, like he man. he's in the, he seems to be in the community, but he doesn't seem to want to play in it. He's like, like he doesn't want to take his part in it. I don't know, man. He's mysterious like that. He just uploads a bunch of he's, shit but never fucking plays. And he gets, it's because I think he knows yeah. he's gonna come back and fucking play a two twenty six game or something like that, and just to be like up there. How's he gonna play a two twenty six game when he's washed? I feel like that's what it is, but you know. Maybe, I don't know. I feel like that's a thing. I feel like that's probably going to happen at some point. So, Zombie Prophecy. At this point in your career as a seasoned veteran of the game, what is left for you to accomplish? I want the I want a four player I want the four player world record. I want the solo, two player and three player world record on DOA 2 all at once. Wow, that's very ambitious. I'm glad to hear that. Maybe you could also get to round 100 on DOA 1 solo? DOA 1 would be easy if it wasn't broken as fuck, are you kidding Yeah, me? it'd be like DOA 2. It'd just be like different maps yeah. and different drops. Uh, that's what it is right now, though. Like, I'd be like, I'd be able to go from DOA 2 to DOA 1 and probably get like a 120. What would be your dream team to beat Chinatown fourth time around? A lot of people, I think, would say like... 
Frenzy, Rambo, Fatal, maybe Frios. I would say and Fatal fucking... next, but not a lot of people know about Fatal. So they would say Epic, and then the dude, world. anybody, everybody fucking knows about Fatal. Fatal is like one of the fucking top guys. Are you kidding me? Sure, I'm gonna have to agree with Zombie Prophecy on this one. Everyone knows Fatal CJ Rampage. Chinatown is his specialty. Yeah, yeah, and he definitely, I think he would probably merit to be up there for sure, but I don't feel like that will be, but will be the team. I don't think it will be, but prove me wrong. I feel like it'll most likely be somebody like Beast and myself, you, um, basically you know, people, fatal, that, really people that actually play, people that are actually playing, that don't, just fatal doesn't play, don't right? play, they just don't play, like, straight up. Like, if you think, if you think you're gonna crack 225 your first try, good luck, bro, like, um, I'll root you on and all that, but like, hey man, we might be I think it's gonna take you a little player. bit of practice. Yeah, I think you guys are convincing me. DOA one is just not that much fun. Then what reason is there to play anymore? That's how you beat 160, right? You beat the game. Yeah, I guess people will always be playing DOA two because the rounds keep going on and on. So there's no reason to stop playing it. If the journey becomes tedious and boring, who cares? The destination is limitless. Damn, dude, you're but thinking about before. like fucking 2012, bro. Fucking DOA 2 resurrected the community. Somewhat, at least. Not really. Yeah, I mean, I think people just need to play DOA 2, put on their big boy pants, and get really high rounds. What do you think about that? That's a fucking fact, man. That's a fucking fact. People yeah. don't, people don't <laughs> yes. have the brass to get past 3.0 China. Like, I'm one of the only people that have done it. Yeah. Let's say let's say after patch 2, because the before patch is obviously a different game. They had 4 boost system on crack. So every time they die, they get an extra 4 boosts. Like, that's pretty much what Yeah, they're... but they had pulls on crack, so you need to encounter that as I well. I know. Yeah, I think you're right. The pulls were the biggest issue on the original version of the game. On crack, you said? Yeah, it was It was like DOA 2 was on crack. I know, I'm aware. That's a complete different game, right? That's not even the same fucking shit, like... So let's just say after How crack. good can you move with poles until you have to fucking Until you have boost. to boost, but that's like... It. If I had that kind of shit back in the day, I would love to see how I would do. Like, that's fucking... That's crazy. Oh, that'd be awesome. Four boosts every time, like... Pretty fucking nice. Even if the poles are complete cancer, like, I could see what I would do there. I don't know, it's hard as fuck, but like... You know, I would have liked to try, but it's completely different, and I don't want to count it because of that. Completely different game, broken as fuck, not the same. Sure, why count something if you weren't playing during the time period? It makes no sense. You gotta think about the current. It's all about what's happening in the now. So, the people that have played it recently are playing now, that have beaten it, it's slow, dude. It's super fucking low. Probably because people stop playing? I don't know. Or people need to try to beat Chinatown. Yeah, no, DOA 2's community is dead, but it's at least there's like 10 people left. Sure, you know, it's it's a nice round number. Alright, so that's the end of this interview. If you're watching at home and are interested in being a contestant in Inside the DOA Cafe, and you feel you have the credentials, send over your resume and an application over in the comment section below.